in step 3 of problem solving we basically do the detailed steps and some of the algebra so first is we choose the right governing equation uh, for the right geometry as we go down these steps the first one is choose the governing equation so governing equations at least what we have done is in three uh, different coordinate system Cartesian cylindrical and spherical now this is it's given that it's a slab so if it's a slab then it's not these I mean it's not this it's not this so this is the right one now we need to look at all the different terms so this is the transient term so we definitely don't need this because it's a steady state problem um, then reaction term we do need this we do need the reaction term then we have only one dimension so we do not need y and z so that becomes my governing equation and we can simply write it as d del square c a del x square plus r a equal to zero much simpler than what you see over here next is choosing the boundary condition now concentration of oxygen at the inner surface is zero this is given concentration of oxygen at the outer surface is from equilibrium between cornea and air so this has to be calculated um, so we need a number for this that we will get to in a minute so now we need to solve the governing equation uh, for C or CA A stands for the species A which in this case is oxygen so we need to solve this one and so we see this is a very simple equation to solve so we write d square c a d x square equal to minus r a over d uh, so d c a over d x is minus r a over d x plus c1 and so c a is equal to minus r a over d x square over 2 plus c1 x plus c2 where c2 and c1 are the constants of integration that we have to find by plugging in the boundary conditions so now we have to find the second boundary condition numerical value otherwise we cannot find uh, C1 and C2 uh, because to find them we need two numerical uh, values at the two boundaries so you notice that we need we need at this outer surface we need how much oxygen is there in the cornea now the cornea is treated as like water and then outside is air so air has oxygen cornea has oxygen at the surface the concentration of air a concentration of oxygen in the air and concentration of oxygen in the cornea are in equilibrium and that equilibrium is given by Henry's law so concentration or mole fraction in terms of mole fraction of oxygen is given by PA the partial pressure of oxygen which is equal to 0.21 atmosphere given and divided by Henry's law constant assuming cornea is like water 
we get this data from oxygen water system this we can see from text so the concentration of oxygen in the cornea is this and then uh, from there from this small fraction we can convert further into so many moles per meter cube of cornea uh, per centimeter cube of cornea okay this conversion factor from mole fraction to moles per centimeter cube is actually provided in your problem description okay so now we have one boundary condition that was given anyway that's the inner surface it's zero and the outer surface we just got so with these two boundary conditions we can find C1 and C2 so this is C1 and then plugging in C1 we can find C2 so we can plug in all of that to get concentration as a function of position so x square and x now before we do this flux from concentration so before we do this flux from concentration note that the concentration profile we found is a parabo is parabolic so it has a um, square term so it is zero inside and some value outside so now I want to know the flux from uh, the from the concentration now this flux is a diffusive flux so diffusive flux is always given in terms of Fick's law so flux is equal to minus diffusivity times concentration gradient that is always the definition of diffusive flux it doesn't matter whether there is reaction going on or something else is going on the diffusive flux by definition is this so we simply plug in for dc dx so this part is my dc dx just taking derivative of the concentration equation that we just did and then this d is the diffusivity that we plug in so we get a flux that is equal to this value note that it's some mass amount and per unit area and per unit time and you note that the flux we just calculated it's at x equal to 0.05 so that is is at this point and so the flux which is really the gradient the gradient is not the same everywhere in fact here it's going to be the, the, uh, the gradient is going to be closer to zero